Hey everyone, it's Steve from the garden. My daytime temperatures are now falling into the mid 50s, so it's time to plant the garlic. This year, I got three varieties of garlic I'm planting. I got Chisnook Red, which will be my, this will be my third year planting. Uh, second year for my own self-saved uh, cloves. I got Music, and this will be my first year of reusing my own bulbs for that. And I added Metechi this year. Now, Music and Metechi, the cloves look almost the same. Uh, they're pretty big and they're kind of like a pale color. And the Chesnook Red, which I saved my largest balls for those, uh, they have this like uh, purplish reddish uh, tint to them. I'm going to be planting 60 cloves for each of these varieties. And I'm splitting them between two beds. So you can kind of see I got both dirt pulled back from these two beds. So I'll put 30 of each variety in each bed. For planting, I'm going to come four inches off each side of the bed. And I'm going to space the cloves five inches uh, on center. And to help me uh, put the holes in, I just use this uh, paint brush to make a little dibble. I put a piece of tape at two and a half inches. Because uh, each of these cloves is roughly about an inch and a half tall. So by putting it down two and a half inches, that will leave about one inch of soil above the clove. Now each row is going to be uh, five inches apart. I'll have six rows in each bed. And I'll space them, like I said, five inches apart within each row. I'm just going to use the paint stick, I said, to create a little dibble. I put screws into the side of the bed at five inches apart. I use some string to just give me a guide about where I need to put each clove. Um, absolute precision is not needed for this. It's just, just makes it a little easier to make sure your spacing is reasonable. And in each bed, I'm gonna do the same pattern in terms of planting so I know what to harvest next year, you know, when I separate the cloves for replanting. And that in the first row, I'm going to do Matechi, then Music, and then the Chesnook Red. Lay down all my dibbles for the first uh, variety I'm planting, which is the Matechi. So I'm just going to go ahead and stick the cloves in. And once I got all the cloves in place, then I will just come back and cover them up with dirt. If you never planted garlic before, when you break apart your bulbs, this little flat end, that's the bottom, that's where the roots will come out, and the pointy end is where the leaves come out, so that goes facing up. With the matechi done, it's time to move on to the music. Same process for all these garlic varieties. If you make a hole ahead of time, you can just go ahead and put those cloves in. It's the second bed because I used recycled materials like bricks and pieces of log. Uh, this bed's not a uniform shape and it is actually slightly wider than the wood beds I have off to your left. So what I did is the bed at least here at the end is about 40 inches wide. It varies a little bit as you go down anywhere from 40 inches to 36. So I just kind of figured roughly where the center is at and ran uh, the string just offset from the center and then I'll mark off my holes and I'll keep moving it five inches one way or the other until I have all my holes ready. Another part about using the strings in here is because I don't have wood on the sides I just used some pieces of bamboo on each end and ran the string between those. I have all the clothes in the ground. Now before I used a hard rake to cover the holes with dirt I'm just going to put down some of the uh, organic balanced fertilizer, spread that on the ground first, and then use the hard rate to cover it up. Now we'll kind of mix that fertilizer in with the soil. Have the fertilizer down. I'm going to use the smooth side of the hard rake to uh, move the dirt over the holes and help mix in that fertilizer. 
Um, I don't want to use the tying side because I could potentially pull off those clothes I just put in. We got the beds watered in, and the last step is to put down wood chips. Um, I'm going to put two to three inches of mulch down uh, to help insulate the soil, retain moisture, and it acts as a little bit of a buffer over the winter. We got the mulch laid down in both beds, and I gave that some water. Let me know if you're planting garlic this year, and if so, what varieties you're planting, and what dates you're planting them in. Uh, me, I'm in Zone 5, uh, kind of in the Chicago area. And normally I would have planted this garlic probably a week or two ago, but due to the warm weather, I, I held off a little bit. That's it for this video. Hope you got something out of it. We'll see you on the next one.